sorry for the noise in the background. <laughs> um, I'm going to present a concrete poem from 1966 by Edward Lucy Smith. Um, also part of the Futura series, like Chris presented. It's a lovely edition um, published in Germany. And this series Futura was a real sort of I think a real sort of solid line that went through the 60s right through to the 80s and 90s, and I love these things. It's a lovely edition, um, signed by Lucy Smith, not signed to me, signed to Michael Armstrong. Um, I broke into Michael Armstrong's house, and I stole this from the frame, and I put a Yoko Ono piece in its place. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's called Cloud Sun Fountain Statue. And it's a mirror poem, so the sensible half is here. On the left it says, How these clouds run before the wind, pale fat lackeys. And lackeys are lovely sort of arcane uh, English word for a sort of assistant or a servant or something. So the idea that the clouds are the lackeys of the wind is nice. And then in the bottom, fountain rain, with the sound of tears. Raindrop, raindrop, raindrop fountain. And this is deeply phonetic, I won't attempt it. And then at the bottom, at, as, stasis, statue, as, stet, you. Um, for me, concrete poetry is the place where visual art and poetry meet. And I trained as a painter and studied poetry as my private passion. And so there's all the different <laughs> ways to make art and words come together. And in concrete poetry I found this kind of, like a swinging door, you know, like the kind of door you have between a kitchen and a restaurant where witches rush in and the door opens both ways. It's on a double hinge. And I think that concrete poetry is a place that art and poetry are on a, are a double hinge. And they can exchange ideas and ideas can cross-pollinate and you can discover something from poetry to bring into art and things vice versa, to go from art into poetry. So I think that's why the thread is so crucial to me in my work and, and enduringly of interest. This poem by Lucy Smith. Lucy Smith became an art historian, actually. He's more famous as an art historian than he is as a concrete poet. Um, but I love his concrete poetry and, and sort of collect it. I did a piece in Trafalgar Square where there is cloud, sun, a fountain, and a statue. So, which relates to this piece, I'll show you that briefly. I did this as a, as a sort of banner poem for the Stop the War Coalition, which is an amazing peace group in, in London. And it was hung in Chicago Square on the day of, I think, the, the 10th anniversary of the war in Afghanistan. And it says, when we are sleeping, aeroplanes carry memories of the horrors we have given our silent consent to into the night sky of our cities and leave them there to gather like clouds and condense into our dreams before morning.